Feels good to make a video, you guys. I had a rough week. What's up, YouTube? Nintendo91 here, and welcome back to the channel where we discuss video games and unlock your gaming potential. So you may notice I don't have my glasses on. That's because I got a new ring light and some new lights in the back, and I don't want you guys to see this ring light right here, like the ring light glasses. It's kind of annoying, but if you guys prefer me to see with my glasses on or whatever, then let me know. Uh, take the glasses on, t take the glasses off or on. But anyway, let's get on with the video. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the new special edition switches that are coming out with Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury and Monster Hunter Rise. Super Mario 3D World 1 is going to come out along with the game on February 12th, and the Monster Hunter 1, also along with the game, comes out March 26th. The Super Mario 1 is like less than a week away, so get excited about that. But in my opinion, I think the Super Mario 1 looks the best. Since I enjoy colorful stuff, I enjoy colorful consoles, and Nintendo is known to do this. They always do this. They did this with the 64. They did this with the Game Boy Colors, the 3DS kind of. But yeah, Nintendo just does this, and every time. I've always loved it, even when I was a kid. So the Super Mario 3D World 1 has like a red and blue color theme, which is like a Mario color, obviously. And the Joy-Cons look fantastic. Like... That, that kind of system has so much more detail than the one I got. See, we have the Animal Crossing one, which is pretty awesome. The Monster Hunter one now, the Super Mario 3D World one, and the Smash Brothers one, I think. I think there's one more, I'm not too sure. But I got the Super Smash Brothers one. And uh, honestly, it's okay. It's pretty cool. But I decided to get it because I love Super Smash Brothers. And as you can see here, like, it's pretty standard color. Just the black dock, just with the, well, you can see the characters on there. That's pretty much it. Nothing on the back. See, nothing on the back could have been better honestly but still pretty dope I also have the joy cons it has the smash symbol on them which is pretty cool you can see right there see pretty standard doesn't have much detail as, mu as much as I would like to but um, yeah the standard color and stuff you know still looks pretty dope but that's the one I got so if you guys want to pick one of these two up it on they honestly look fantastic so I would recommend picking one up with for your kids or for yourself and the dock is the best part honestly and if you want to play on the TV and stuff so I would totally recommend it. So to my next point, so what are these two consoles releasing mean for the Switch Pro which is still rumored to come out maybe this year, next year, who knows. In all honesty with these two systems coming out I don't see a Switch Pro coming soon and let me tell you why. There's a reason these consoles are coming out right now because maybe Super Mario 3D World Plus Bowser's Fury was delayed last year and they were planning to release it along with the game and the system. They were planning to release both of them together. 2020 was a hard year for everybody as manufacturing, a lot of uh, distribution centers were shut down and stuff like that because they just had to because of COVID. Nintendo is basically milking the Switch at this point. They know it's like four years old, five years old, and they even said on their website that the Switch is barely halfway through its life. So that means that they're gonna release new models, possibly do the Pro next year. Look at what they did with the 3DS. They sold a lot of units with the 3DS and they made a, a new 3DS which had like more improved graphics and made the uh, frames per second look a whole lot cleaner. I just don't see it. I just don't see them releasing these consoles these new special editions and releasing the pro anytime soon or i might be wrong let me know what you guys think in the comments below this is just my opinion pure speculation that i believe that they're not going to release the switch pro anytime soon at least not this year now nintendo might be milking the switch really really hard but i'm not mad to be honest i enjoy the switch and i'm glad it's still at its base form uh, although they did release the switch Lite, which is cool a cool portable system to take with you which by the way if you want to buy a switch Lite, it's only 200 bucks it's not a bad deal if you want to play on the go another thing i wanted to talk about can it beat the ps5 and the xbox series x just in its base form or do they really have to release a switch pro in order to you know up the competition we all know the switch is pretty good like it has very good graphics and everything like that but it doesn't run at 4k or anything like that so it maybe i don't know I, i'm still torn between the switch pro thing but in my opinion with with them releasing these two switches it makes me think that the switch pro is not coming anytime soon there is one thing i forgot to mention the monster hunter switch might not come to the u.s first so it's gonna go to japan europe australia and all that i'm not sure why but i'll keep you guys updated in case i find out anything 
So let me know down in the comments below what you think about these two new special edition switches. Does this mean we're not getting a Switch Pro anytime soon? Does this mean we are getting a Switch Pro soon with Monster Hunter coming out? We you know if we want more frames per second or what does this mean for the Switch Pro? I really appreciate you guys checking out my channel. Uh, I've been having a rough week. You know, I work like 24-7 basically, but I try to make videos when I can. And it helps me know that if, if I can help out one person, just one person with any information or anything, good vibes or just having a, a conversation with anybody or talking about video games, it doesn't matter to me. All I care about is that I enjoy doing this. I enjoy talking to you guys. I enjoy the community. I love Nintendo and I love video games in general. So yeah, uh, I just, this is a heart to heart right now real quick. Honestly, I work a lot and it's been getting to me a lot lately and mainly I just want to be a creator. I want to talk about things. I want to, you know, do things that to where I can actually enjoy them and video games is definitely one of them. So if you ever feel down or depressed or anything like that, come talk to me. You guys send me a message. You got my uh, social media links down below and just have a conversation with me because I really enjoy making people laugh. I try to make people laugh. I'm not the funniest guy in the world, but I try. And you know, just, I'm, I just wanna have a genuine connection with you guys because this is important to me. This is very important to me and uh, I want it to be important to you so you guys can actually just have a conversation with me. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, consider subscribing, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one. Oh, and I forgot. Make sure to enter the $25 eShop card giveaway just by hitting the like button, commenting, subscribing. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye.